Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about Photon Quantum, which is now available to developers for free. First, a bit of a backstory here, what exactly is Photon? Well, you probably know them, if anything, by the name Pun. Uh, they make the Photon, I think it's Unity Network, uh, one of the more popular high-level middleware solutions for networking when it comes to the Unity game engine. Uh, since then, that has been retired, as has Bolt, not the Visuals Programming Language, another networking solution. I know that is very confusing, but now they make Quantum, Fusion, and Real-Time time, and Quantum is the one that we are talking about today. So if you're looking for a high-level networking solution for the Unity game engine, uh, that is what this is all about. And the key thing here is that this new Photon Quantum is now available for free access. It used to be sort of an invite-only thing. Uh, now you can use it for development for free. Now the key thing about uh, Quantum is that it is a fully deterministic networking solution. So that means given the input, the same input on multiple different machines, regardless to what platform they're on or where they are in the world, you will have the same output at the same time. So when uh, player X moves over here, they move at the same pace and the same thing across all systems involved. In order to do this, well, they basically created a game engine. Uh, it also makes your networking a lot easier to work from with a higher level solution. We'll see some code examples in just a minute. But the key thing here is that this technology is now free for development. Now, do keep in mind, once you deploy your game, there are definitely some costs involved. There's also some costs involved around support. We'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, so this guy started out five years ago. They tried to build the world's first fully deterministic game engine, uh, initially focused on dedicated and professional studios due to the intricate nature. Quantum, quite nature, Quantum has been uh, exclusively accessible to curated gaming circle members. So basically, this was an invite-only product in the past. Um, it's been around, again, for five years at this point in time. It powered games such as Battlelands Royale, Lego Brawls, Lego Star Wars Battles, and the worldwide smash hit Stumble Guys. Um, so it transforms the way that multiplayer games are developed, uh, reached new heights of excellence. Now it is available to developers for free. So Quantum is free for development. Again, for development. When you deploy your game, there are some costs involved, although uh, if your game is a really mild game, those costs are actually free. Uh, we'll get back to the pricing again in just a second. So it's definitely not a turnkey thing. It's still a complex thing to work with. Uh, there's now a ton of documentation samples and so on to work from. Plus, obviously, it's been battle tested in a number of different games. Uh, allows designers to create multiplayer games as simple as developing a local multiplayer title. Developers can focus on creating amazing game experience without writing net code, network synchronization, or platform limitations. Uh, and then here is a set of the features there. So you don't have to write any net code. Uh, multiplayer is just kind of built in. Of course, you have to use their setup, their ECS, their classes, and so on. So this basically is a bit more of a game engine than just a networking solution. Uh, low bandwidth with input only. So game clients only exchange input distributed to the players at high frequency through the Photon Cloud. Uh, so with webhooks, connect your back end or plugins to run server-side custom code. Optimized for extreme performance. Uh, there's cheap protection uh, by design, cross-platform determinism. So it doesn't matter which platform you are running on. Uh, any dependencies on Unity and can run any. So uh, simulations coded in Quantum do not have any dependencies on Unity and can run anywhere. Uh, zero lag esports grade replay and spectating and a bot sdk add-on that is not free however uh so yeah so basically it's available for free uh, if you want to go and start checking this out for networking the link is available right there and then on top of that so here's where we start getting into some of the costs if you want to be part of the gaming circle, that's $125 a month. You may not need this, but this gives you access to the engineering team, their Discord channel, email support, uh, a bunch of samples and add-ons, nightly builds of the SDKs. There's an advanced bot SDK and a tournament SDK. I could see how you could get by without needing those things, and the development version may be fine for you. So this is Photon Quantum. Uh, kind of the same thing again. This is kind of the same overview of what we just saw with just prettier graphics for the most part. Uh, so you can see how all the things work together. So here is your Unity layer. This is responsible for, you know, the, the drawing, the rendering, and so on. And then you have your simulation layer. This is all the stuff that Quantum provides. So you got things in there like an ECS, a task system, pathfinding, physics, animation control, and math. So yeah, basically all of the stuff that DOTS libraries now implement were implemented here at the Quantum layer there. Uh, and then below that, you have your uh, input and networking. This is the stuff that's actually shared to Quantum to do the simulation. So really all you're sending uh, in a deterministic network to um, this 
server to simulate is the inputs. So, you know, player pressed up, that kind of stuff, and then the server takes care of all that and synchronizes it out to all the various different clients that are out there. Um, and some more details about how it works, the performance things, how rollback work, and all these other things that are important to networking itself are available in here. Uh, so it's the input is exchanged behind the scenes. It is all input driven, uh, regardless, again, to the platform there. Uh, and yeah, so this guy is now free for you to check out from a development perspective. Now, an actual when your game is done and you want to go ahead and deploy it, well, we've got other costs here. So you got uh, 20 CCU. CCU stands for concurrent users. Currently, con con concurrently, con Anyway, concurrent users, I forget what the other C stands for here, uh, but basically CCU is the number of active users at one time using your game. So if you've got, you know, only 20 players, it is free. If your game is the type that has 500 plus players at the same time networking, uh, it's $125 a month. 1,000 is $250 a month. Uh, 2,000 is $500 a month. And then uh, you're going to get into enterprise scheme. So if you're oh, over up to 50,000, you're looking at 50 cents uh, per CCU at that point in time. So there's definitely a price based off you're paying for your for them to do the network server for you. Uh, and again, you can see the cost here as it breaks down. So if that worth it for you or not, price is always a very relative thing for the most part. There is this documentation available. Just basically go to the Photon page, click the documentation link. You can learn a little bit more about how it all works. Again, it is deterministic, so every client in the end of the day should have the exact same results. Um, and then, again, same breakdown as before. They implement this by providing a number of different layers, things like ECS plus their own um, custom uh, math libraries that work you know, with a deterministic setup. Um, the basic building blocks of a quantum game are the server plugin. So again, their server, they handle all that stuff for you. That's what you're actually paying for with that CCU stuff there. Uh, the game client simulator communicates with the quantum server, runs the local simulation, performs all input predictions and rollback. Uh, custom gameplay code, this is you. Um, and then, yeah, so that all works together. It is all code driven. So you can see an idea of the code uh, and the way things work. They do provide uh, all of the all of the classes you need to work with it, but you're definitely working in their world. And the one big question I have at this point in time is how well will this actually play with DOTS now that DOTS is a thing? Because they've essentially implemented their own version of DOTS to make this work. They have their own uh, memory manager to keep it performant. They, uh, again, it's entirely C-sharp based, but here you can see how, um, how easy it is to handle on the code. So on your end, instead of doing, you know, a whole bunch of the logic work to see if damage was applied, you basically check for the events dot damage and see what the damage was. So very simple uh, to work with from a code perspective, but it is going to basically shape the entire entity of your game. Everything about how your game works, you're using their classes, their libraries. So you see they got a number of deterministic libraries provided here uh, for things like, um, math libraries, physics engines, ne um, networking, pathfinding, that kind of, sorry, not uh, nav mesh pathfinding agents and so on. Uh, so you're, you're very much committing to their entire ecosystem to make it work. But once you've done that, you don't really need to worry that much about the networking side of things. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Photon Quantum. So if you're looking for a fully deterministic library for the Unity game engine, it is now free for development. And basically, you're trading uh, money <laughs> and uh, design flexibility because you're going to have to use their way of doing things to make networking really simple and ideally uh, fully deterministic. So uh, if you are in the market for a networking middleware solution, at the very least, you can now check out Photon Quantum completely free. Have you checked this out in the past? Have you used their other solutions like the pun uh, or bolt, etc. And what did you think of them? Uh, again, networking on Unity has always been a bit of a shit show. So having uh, a number of different options available, middleware options is always a good thing. Uh, but this one's going to be an interesting place because again, you have to use their ECS solution and now Unity's ECS solution is now live. So I wonder if they're going to be able to merge those two things together or offering a new solution or are they just going to force you to go this way and not use dots at all? It'll be interesting to see, but let me know what you think. Photon Quantum now available free for developers. That's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.